How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you've never before experienced by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Now, here's the host of Big Fat Lies, business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness, how much freaking fun can we have today? My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and I get complimented all the time on wow, you show up so great on camera. How do you do that? You know, how do you know what to say? How do you know what to do? How do you know how to frame a shot? Like, what are your tech tips? Like, can you help me uh, have a show? And, or sometimes people are like, why do you do that? You're so freaking brave. And, you know, I was talking to my, um, talking to my show producer here at Inspired Choices Network, who has me on all of these amazing platforms. Uh, so as a podcast, as a broadcast, and uh, she was saying, you know, <clears throat> wow, why don't you just tell people what you do? And so a lot of the time, you know, as a shaman, as a seer, the, the messages that I'm channeling are from spirit. And today it was like, let's talk about the nuts and bolts of why as, you know, maybe as a healer, maybe as, a, you know, an intuitive, as somebody who's doing sort of woo-woo work on the internet, uh, why you need to show up correctly on camera. And, you know, why is it that, you know, camera is probably one of the better ways to going live on Facebook, obviously going live on TikTok, you know, on whatever platform it is that you find that you have your ideal clients or your like beautiful soulmate clients, like where are they and how can you have a conversation? Well, I always do stuff like three to five years before I need it. And, you know, way back when, when I left my corporate job and I started to move into, you know, holistic work, I hired a coach. I hired a coach who was going to teach me how to sell from stage. And so one of the things that we were doing at the time, and that was like the vanguard, the very vanguard of people showing up on Facebook and doing Facebook lives and different things like that. And way back in the day, the golden age of Facebook, the golden age I would have like 1,800 or 2,500 people see my Facebook Lives when I did Facebook Lives. And so I didn't even really know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> like, I just didn't. I was just being myself. And what that did was it had more eyes on me. It had more eyes on my things I do you know, my transformations that I provide. And so whatever it is for you, you know, like if you want to move your business from a hobby into a life-changing transformational experience for your clients, for the planet, for the world, it's really time for you to ask for help. Like if you're like, hmm, I don't know how to show up on camera. Mm, I don't know if I feel safe to show up on camera. I don't know how to run the tech. Um, what else did I promise you? Uh, what to present, what to talk about. Also, like how to frame yourself in a shot where you look interesting, but you don't look too busy or sort of obnoxious. Um, and then also sort of personal tips for looking good on camera, for feeling good on camera, for feeling confident on camera. And so that's what I promised uh, to talk about today. But also, one of the things that you may not realize about this show is I'm live and there is a chat room that you can come into and ask your own questions in the chat room. This is a master class. And so if you have something very specific that's on topic that you would like to ask, you are so welcome. So if you go to inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room and uh, come in and ask questions in the chat room, we've already got people in the live audience. Uh, like I'm so committed to you showing up as your authentic self. I would say that that is 
99.99% of what my business does is gives people the tools to show up as their authentic self. And so if you imagine that there are a group of people on this planet that are only here to tune into you. Doesn't that sound weird? Like there's a group of people who your message, your unique skill set, what you do, what you offer, your gifts, the frequency of your voice, the frequency of your body is here for them. And so your services, your products, everything is there for them. And so if you're like at home feeling shitty, feeling like you can't show up, uh, that's kind of sad, isn't it? So let's get real. It's time to ask for help. So there's a question from the audience. What's the difference between a business and a hobby? Cash. Does your business actually make money? Does your business actually pay for itself? Or if it's a hobby, you know, like you're paying for all of your platforms that you're on, you know, you're paying out of pocket for any coaching and training and facilitation, and there's not enough clientele to support the business and there's zero profit in the business, I would say that's the difference between a hobby and a business. And so when we get into a profitable business. What I would say about having a profitable business, um, which I have a ton of different podcasts on. So please go into podcast.jenniferkramerlewis.com or you can go on to my link tree, which is linktree forward slash Jennifer Kramer Lewis, or it's probably wherever you're listening. If you're listening live, you're probably on Facebook or Instagram right now or not Instagram, TikTok. And um, yeah, so a, a profitable business the expenses of the business are not any more than one third of the profits of the business. You get to keep two thirds, the business sees one third to operate. And then as if you can get that even smaller, then it becomes a very profitable business. And that's super exciting to me. But today's topic is not about business. It's about showing up for yourself, showing up for your ideal clients and not being afraid to be on camera. So those are more the questions that I want to be asked today to be very specific, to set some nice boundaries with you guys. Please ask me questions about showing up on camera. Please ask me tech tip questions. Please ask me how to frame yourself. Please ask me about personal tips, like what do I do to make sure that I feel good on camera? Those are some of the questions that I would like to know. Awesome. So what else? Do you have a show you want to do and are struggling to be stage ready for your presentations? Does not feeling stage ready stop you from turning on the camera and recording that presentation, podcast, or show? So those are some of the things that I want to talk about today. But in the first segment, I want to be like radical vulnerability, radical vulnerability. People are like, Jennifer, oh my God, you know, you always know what to say. You always know what to do. You always sound professional. Well, I did a challenge and I'm trying to think what year that was. So you guys can go onto my YouTube channel. So you just look up Jennifer Kramer Lewis and you find my YouTube channel. And please subscribe. Uh, you can find these ancient videos that I did. And I was so scared to go live. And that was back in the day when like 1,800 or 2,500 people would see you in a 24-hour period because they didn't have enough people going live on Facebook. And so um, I did a series on intimacy with money, the five elements of intimacy with money. And so you can see I'm like afraid it's like all pixelated and, you know, I'm kind of like jumpy and I don't even really know what I'm doing. And so I leave that on there because I really, you know, I want to be able to go back and congratulate myself on one, being consistent uh, with my messaging because I still talk a ton about money and people do talk to me about money that's one of my primary topics that people are like okay cool I want to know more about how I can have money and one of the ways is to show up regularly like pick your niche show up regularly 
and allow your ideal clients to find you on their own timetable. And so how they do that is by you being stage ready. Now, does that have to take hours and hours and hours and hours? Absolutely not. Not to get ready. But the framing of it, like getting help, uh, asking questions, you know, setting up your shot, setting up your tech, making sure um, that you have a good microphone, making sure that you have good lighting, all of that kind of stuff. You know, it it's not going to be ready in an instant. Like I do actually have a list. So if you text me on Instagram or sorry, Facebook, Facebook and TikTok. Why do I keep saying Instagram? But anyways, any platform that you happen to enjoy, uh, go ahead and send me a message and say um, tech and I can send you a list of all my favorite tech. But beginning, beginnings uh, at 1111, where I am, I want to talk to you about like just knowing, just knowing that like however you show up, is exactly however you show up. And so you can just rest in the awareness that however you show up will be perfect. Even in its imperfection, it will be perfect. Does that make sense? Like, it's just like people watch Survivor and people watch like American Ninja and, you know, because they they don't mind it when people sort of crash and burn. It's, it's, it's like people really you know, they just, uh, they don't mind it. Imperfection is actually beautiful. And I'm going to say that again. Imperfection is actually beautiful. And I would say over the years of showing up on Facebook Lives and TikTok and, you know, uh, doing in-person public speaking, uh, which is increasing. I got like three uh, people reaching out to me, four people reaching out to me in the last week, asking me to show up at their retreat, asking me to show up on a local stage, asking me to show up on a on a summit for um for gene keys which is like astrology human design and gene keys are all sort of together and those are things that i know about so if you are prepared then when somebody asks you then you're kind of like sure why not and if you've given yourself enough sort of leeway to relax into, wow, I don't have to be perfect. You know, if I'm speaking for 25 minutes, if I'm speaking for 55 minutes, um, which is the length of my show called The Big Fat Lies, um, it just doesn't matter. And I would say that that's the very, very first thing that I want to give you information on is you do your best. And that's all, you know, like try not to be somebody that you're not, be that authentic person showing up on camera and the right people will be like, oh, wow, she's cool. She's interesting. I kind of want to know about her or him. And, you know, inviting people into what it is that you do for a living, because back in the day, we were trying to fill rooms. We were going from like networking meeting to networking meeting to networking meeting, hoping that there would be people there who were like groovy enough to want to, you know, do business with us and, you know, wanting to learn mindset and wanting to learn transformation. You know, I'm not an accountant. I do have a lot of facility with wealth. I have a lot of facility with like Tetris with numbers, but, you know, I'm not a mainstream business person. I'm a very esoteric business person and I have a very esoteric model. So I'm only going to appeal to a tiny niche. And so on the Internet, on the interwebs, there are tons of people that you can appeal to on a day to day basis that are your correct people. But you got to show up, you got to turn that camera on, you got to like make sure that you're not so worried that you're going to show up as a mess that you create a mess like definitely go to my YouTube channel and find those videos on the five elements of intimacy with money and see like what's the difference wow Jennifer's looking way more professional now and you know it's just a matter of being willing to be messy and I was just so so proud of myself oh my um 
my producer said that was back in 2016. So not that long ago, right? Six years ago. And, you know, the difference in my trajectory and being willing to show up on camera is huge. So whether you put the work into it and, um, and go ahead or, you know, six years from now, you might not be on camera. And uh, <laughs> uh, it's up to you. So we'll see you after the break. My name is Jennifer Cromer Lewis. We are in the Inspired Choices Network. The show is called Big Fat Lies, and we'll see you after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness. So I forgot to tell the Facebook people that they had better jump into the chat room. So if you are live on TikTok with me and you want to jump into the chat room and ask any questions about the topic today, which is about being stage ready for your broadcast, your podcast, or like going live. <laughs> And why we were talking about before the break, it's like we used to try to fill rooms. You know, we were hoping that we would get 30 or 50 people in a room that we could talk to about our particular niche. But these groups, you know, like these networking groups, there would be a lawyer and, you know, a naturopath and, you know, it wouldn't be very niche specific. And that's one of the really nice things about social media is that you can create a very niche specific message. And so mine is how to burn out proof your business, how to create a holistic business that's profitable. And, you know, today, like a really profitable thing for you to do with your business is to create this evergreen content, you know, so my show is what's called evergreen content. So if somebody wants to find out more about me, um, they can go to my YouTube channel, they can go to Inspired Choices, they can go, you know, on Facebook, friend me on Facebook and go into my group that's called uh, The Joyful Entrepreneur. Like there's a ton of different ways that you can get to know me versus, you know, like a death by a thousand cuts, you know, all of these little coffee meetings where you're like trying to convince people that, you know, you're the person for them, you know, so now I do, I'm like, okay, well, how many of my shows have you watched? And if the people are like, oh, I tapped in a little bit, I'm like, okay, well, what specifically do you think that I should be able to help you with? And then, you know, I mean, there's like, I have so many shows. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, here's a couple of shows that I would love for you to watch. And if by the end of watching those shows, you feel like you can trust me, you feel like you'd like to hire me and have me consult with you or work with you on a specific part of your business, then great. 
but you know just like having chats with people that may or may not turn out into business opportunities is what I call a death by a thousand cuts like you could be creating all of this evergreen content in the time that you are you know, having these individual meetings. And so that was the message that I learned way back in like 2014 and 2015 was, you know, get in front of groups of people, talk to groups of people. And I would say that that's really, really important. But before you do that, you need to feel confident. You need to feel camera ready. And so one of the things that I do get asked on the regular basis is how do you come up with your content? Like, how do you know what to talk about? Well, very specifically, I would recommend that you talk about like the FAQs of your business, you know, like what, what are they, the frequently asked questions of your business. And then, you know, just today we were like talking about boundaries, uh, me and my show producer, and she's like, oh, that should totally be a show, like how not having great boundaries is, you know, causing you to, to be broke. And I was like, just laughing. So, you know, right from my show producer is like really great content and right from your clients, like what are they asking you for? Now, is that exactly correct? No, because if your clients are asking you to create content that you're kind of like, eh, I'm a bit over that, then don't bother creating it. You know, like I, um, I would say the majority of my clients are quite high level people in what it is that they do they know their method they know their modality they know their energy and so they're looking for very specific things from me and so I'm not going back to basics and like teaching about chakras or you know there's some basic things that I love to go back to do to show you um, how your body feels when it's receiving intuitive messages, when you're channeling, that kind of thing, you know, that's sort of like, um, I always say the reason why ballerinas can jump so high is because they've done enough plies and like leg work and pointing their toes, that it's just completely natural. So there's that kind of basics. But the basic basics, I would say, be very, very careful that you're not teaching below your grade level. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Don't teach below your grade level. Because <laughs> then it gets boring. You're like, oh, I don't want to teach that class. I just don't. Like last week, I was talking about the dance club. And, you know, there's a specific type of dance that they're like, God, I hate that dance. And people are asking for it. So they're still teaching it. And I just don't think they should. So thinking about that for yourself are you still teaching methods and modalities that are kind of below your pay grade so that's one thing and then another thing that I do um is uh I got these this was a gift did you guys see these going around the internet my little what does it say my little bag of sweary affirmations so there here's some free publicity for the people that make these and so I pulled this card today and it says, when the world says you can't, I say fucking watch me. <laughs> and that's so me. That is so me. And so I have all of these beautiful oracle cards. I have all of these, um, uh, you know, just interesting cards. And I use them um, when I'm creating content. Like I'll use a couple of different sets of cards. This one is... Um, Oh, I don't have it handy to be able to show it to you, but this is a fairy deck. And then this is another one that um, has just like cool sort of messages on it. And so then when I look at them, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to say there. I know what that content is. So first, you know, you're thinking about, okay, what does my ideal client want to talk about? What does my ideal client want to hear about? So I have a ton of different shows about human design and also gene keys, astrology. Um, I talk about mindset. I talk about consciousness. I really love to talk about uh, like um, the scale of consciousness, like Dr. David Hawkins work. Um, I love to talk about all sorts of things to do with like bodies and how to tell like 
and get messages from your body. I talk about um, how to channel, uh, also about how to receive messages from spirit. And then also during the broadcast, I'm receiving messages from spirit, I'm channeling. And so I think it's really, really uh, important that what you are presenting is something that you're excited about. It's got to be something that you're excited about, because if you're super bored about it, then why are you even bothering? Like someone in the audience says, very interesting. I'm so over teaching a bunch of things I've taught in the past. Yeah. And like people can tell, you know, even if you're an expert and this person definitely is, then it's really important that what you are teaching as you ascend in your mastery process, you're inviting your clients to ascend with you. And those who don't, they'll just fall off and they'll, you know, find other coaches and trainers and, you know, and then you can refer them and then maybe you can have a joint venture agreement or, you know, some sort of referral affiliate agreement where, you know, the people who are the beginners that you're not working with anymore or you're not presenting to anymore, then, you know, they can go to other people who are doing that beginner work. And there's it's great. You know, then it's like kingdom of we it's like, you know, so much abundance you know, because everybody has what's called a soul fractal. And so your soul fractal will either grow with you or they'll fall off. And there's really nothing wrong with that. And so I would say, don't get caught up into what, what to present. Like, just don't. So there's also your energy types. So your human design energy types, manifestors, you inform people. That's your big job. So you pick what you want to tell people. You know, even if your clients are asking you for, you know, uh, stuff on chakras and you're like kind of over it, you're like, okay, well, I'm not doing chakras right now. You know, that's very elementary. And so if you want information on that, you could check out stuff from like 75 billion years ago on chakras or maybe tap into what you already know. Uh, projectors, you need to be invited. So definitely look at what you are being invited to and definitely present on those topics that you're being invited to present on. Otherwise, it's going to be crickets, total crickets. Generators and manifesting generators, what to present will be what you are responding to. And responding is so interesting. So if you're a sacral generator, um, you're going to get information from your hip area, from your pelvis area, and it's going to make you want to do it. It's like, uh-huh, I do want to do that. But there's also sacral information, there's splenic information, and there's emotional information. And so for emotional generators you do have to wait a little bit because sometimes you want to like go off and like talk about this topic and you're too emotional uh to be able to be heard correctly like the frequency is too buzzy for your ideal clients to be able to hear you and then reflectors which is the most rare energy type you need to wait 28 days a whole solar cycle or a whole lunar cycle uh, to be able to be clear on your topics. So what I would recommend is you keep writing topics down and you ask, okay, well, which of these is ready to hatch? And I would recommend that for everybody to start writing topics down and ask which of these are ready to hatch. Am I ready to talk about this today? And use your own intuition. You know, your intuition is going to tell you, but also your human design strategy and authority is going to tell you what is the correct topic for today. And then try to show up as often as possible. You know, like be camera ready, obviously. Create a place in your house that looks beautiful, that all you need to do is sit on a chair, turn on your lights and go. And uh, it's super important. Super, super important. And, you know, as a lead generation for your business, as a client acquisition uh, position for your business, the more often that you show up on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, or whatever platforms that you're super loving, the more often you will run into ideal clients. And don't forget to ask them to do business with you. 
ask them to do business with you. And so you notice on this show, um, I recommend that you go pull your human design chart. So on any web browser, type in free human design chart. And then find out what your incarnation cross is. There's a line called incarnation cross. And if you send me that incarnation cross and the numbers, what I will do on my own time for free is I will give you a resource that you can look at so you can start to embody that primary energy that you're here to be and do. So after the break, we are going to talk about uh, tech tips for seamless uh, presentations because we've all had not seamless presentations and I don't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> so I will see you after the break. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. We are on the Inspired Choices Network. Please join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that. How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. you want to know what the biggest, fattest lie is in the whole world? Jennifer Kramer Lewis has discovered, after working with hundreds of conscious, heart-centered entrepreneurs, that they believe in the lie that if you work harder, smarter, and faster than everyone else, only then will you be rewarded with success. Jennifer audaciously stakes claim that what is pleasurable for you will always be your direct route to the big bucks. Jennifer knows working this hard is robbing you of your dream life. What would you say if she gave you the keys to the Ferrari called your correct energy? What would change if you had a burnout proof business plan, a juicy switched on energy field calibrated by correct business practices, as well as Jennifer's success sorcery, deep psychic awareness and support. The investment for this process is one six what Jennifer's VIP level clients pay. Why? Jennifer believes that once you have this information, you become limitless. And that's exactly what this planet needs more of. Choose your limitless life and business at 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. That's 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. Welcome back, you guys. So very quickly, uh, before we go into my tech tips, I would love to talk about framing the shot. And so you see, I've got some books, I have some glassware, I have a piece of art, I have an orchid, I have, you know, something substantial behind me. So one of the feng shui tips is that if you are going to be on camera, like basically what is behind you should be substantial so there shouldn't be like a big empty room behind you there shouldn't be like a laundry basket or you know like a messy bed or you know like whatever it is whatever is behind you should be substantial and so if you can't frame the shot like that what i'm going to recommend is that you get one of those screens and have it be outside of the shot like the edges are outside of the shot and then take a picture of something beautiful like this. If you don't have the um, if you don't have the cash right now to you know have a beautiful piece of pe furniture, have some gorgeous art, you know, like plants, sculpture, all of that kind of stuff. Then you know, go on the internet and get a picture of what you would like your office to be. You know, go on the internet, go on one of those decorating apps, and like drag and drop things into the frame that you would definitely buy. And then take a picture of that and then put it on the green screen behind you. 
One of the things that I don't like about the green screen or these virtual backgrounds is I talk with my hands. I'm like waving my hands all over the place. So um, it's very difficult for the internet to tell the difference between the green screen and me waving my hands around. So I tend to have a real background. This is my home. Um, so I'm actually in the front room of my home. And so that's important for you to have it be on brand, you know, the correct colors, the correct environment, that it's not detracting. It's not like, you know, like you can't see these titles. It's, you know, not making you like, oh, what's Jennifer looking at? It's actually like cookbooks, two cookbooks, a, uh, um, a book on dahlias, and then a book on like the best restaurants and hotels and different like things in Paris. And so, you know, like I'm, I'm interested in, you know, the things that show up on camera that are indicative of what kind of a person you are. Like, I always look at that kind of stuff. And I find at a subconscious level, people really are looking at that stuff to kind of give them more information about you. So paint a story with your background about more about who you are like this painting uh, is actually Monet's garden and it was painted by a friend of mine uh, Jerry Thompson and I um, joke I call myself a Jerry junkie I love her art I think she's just an extraordinary artist and so having her art framed up in my shot is adding so much more joy like vitality like I just love her art just absolutely love it. So try to have things in your shot that you love, um, that are substantial, that really like back you up, like a piece of furniture that you love. And then something that's interesting, like these are like kind of little fuzzy um, uh, trays that I can put my stuff in. And so when it's interesting, it has texture, um, but it's not really color wise um, attracting from the shot. So that's basically what I would love to say about framing shots. Um, somebody says, I hate the green screens. They're very distracting. Yeah, they are terrible. So think about that for yourself. If it's possible, it's more good for you to be against a solid beige wall than it is for you to, um, to be in front of a green screen that's, you know, sort of reacting, especially if you talk with your hands the way that I do. And so the next thing is tech tips. So get out your pen, get out your pen, because I'm going to tell you exactly what I do before I go on camera. And if I don't do it, it always fucks up. <laughs> so learn from me, please. I have the gate that says learn from me. And uh, so the first thing that I do is I am hardwired in. I have a cat cable, a nice thick cat cable that's plugged right into my computer. So I don't rely on the internet for when I'm doing my broadcasts. I mean, obviously with TikTok, I'm live on my phone, but for my actual broadcast where I'm plugged into Inspired Choices Network, I am plugged in and I have the best quality cat cable. So plugged right into my router, plugged right into my computer. And when I was working out in the garden, like this, this cat cable is like super long. It's like 100 feet long. So I don't need that for when I'm working in the house. But when I work out in the garden, I, I have it plugged in. And so the next thing that I do is I reboot my router. So I plug that thing in. I bring it upstairs. I go downstairs and reboot my router. And then while I'm rebooting my router, I restart my computer. <laughs> Restart your damn computer. Um, I also check probably the day before uh, about, um, sorry, I got distracted by something on my computer popping up. I uh, reboot my program. So I run, uh, what do you call it? Clean my Mac. I also restart Zoom and make sure that there's no updates. And, uh, you know, so all of this sort of like that kind of stuff, I would recommend that you do 
every day. If you're going to broadcast every day, make sure you do that right before, um, but not so right before just in case all of these updates happen. So give yourself lots of time just in case your computer decides to install a huge program. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm going live at one o'clock, but at 1230, I'm like installing a program that might take a half an hour to install. I never do that. So try to be a couple of hours before whatever your broadcast is. And then that's probably it for the tech tips. And then what I actually do to be ready, like to show up, is I have a really great microphone. Um, this is called a Yoto. And this is one of the ones that where you have to speak into the side of the microphone. So like even playing with your sound well ahead of your broadcast. I do have, I wonder if I can pick this up without making too much noise. I have a little Boya microphone that plugs into my phone. And so that's the one that's going on to TikTok. And so your sound is so freaking important. If you don't have good sound, people will just click away. They're like, mm, I'm not going to freaking listen to that. So be very, very careful that your sound is correct. And then again, with your lighting, I have a ring light and it's quite big. It's dimmable, it's collapsible. And I have it like just right at head level. And, you know, so the, the light is, you know, basically surrounding my face and, you know, giving me great lighting. And we've all watched those shows where we're like, God, I can't hear that person. I really wanna know what they're saying or I can't see that person, or, you know, there's kids running around in the background and, you know, or distractions. I, I did turn on my do not disturb, but I don't know why these messages are coming through. I did try to turn them off on the computer break. So that's worth talking about. It's like, silence your phone, silence your messages, so you can be completely in the zone with what your message is. So be very, very careful. And I would say that there needs to also be boundaries, like actual boundaries with your family members or the people who live around you or in your dwelling with you or who could come to your dwelling while you have your show. Um, my show's at one o'clock on Friday afternoons. Both of the people that send me messages during my show know that my show is at one o'clock on Friday afternoons, but obviously they're you know, in their own worlds. And so what you have to do is you have to set up your do not disturbs, you have to make sure that they're working. Um, maybe you have to hang something on the front door that says, you know, knock on this door at your peril, you know, get your loved ones out of the house or wherever you're broadcasting from so that you can be zen. You can be zen and not be interrupted. <laughs> Because it's difficult. I mean, you watched me. I stopped there for like a second. Um, and I'm trained on how to get myself back on message. So thinking about that for yourself, like they say that it takes nine to 11 minutes to get back in focus if you get interrupted when you were in flow. And so obviously we don't have nine to 11 minutes for me to get back in focus. I'm trying to be in flow. And so this is something that I'm trying to prevent for you is that, you know, you getting interrupted in the middle of your broadcast um, by, you know, some sort of tech snafu, like not being plugged in correctly, the internet drops or something like that or, you know, your sound drops, or, you know, the neighbor decides to, like, return your Tupperware, you know, like, anything could happen, and so how to baby-proof your broadcast is really important. I would say that that's one of the things that, um, over the years, I've very much learned how to baby-proof my broadcast, and, you know, take care of myself, so that when I am presenting my message, that, I'm just prevent, presenting my message. I'm not being interrupted by other things that have nothing to do with my message. Yeah. So, oh, my freaking goodness, that was fast. So uh, what did we talk about in this segment? Have your background on brand with the correct colors and the correct message and paint a story behind you telling more of who you are as a person. And then definitely be plugged right into your computer, restart your computer, run your cleaning apps, 
you know, restart the programs, make sure that you are all up to date. And yeah, just being present, making sure to baby proof it so people don't interrupt you. And then after the break, what I'm going to start to talk about is my personal tips for looking good on camera. And because um, I think when you look good, you feel good. And if you're enjoying what you're looking like in your videos, you're more likely to want to share them. You're more likely good to want to go live. You know, I know there are like filters and different things like that. But when you're like using Zoom or any kind of recording apps, you know, you would have to pay big money to have the filters show up. And, you know, people want you to be your authentic self, but a more sort of groomed professional version of your authentic self. So you are listening to Big Fat Lies. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and we are on the Inspired Choices Network. Please join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We are three quarters of the way through the show. If you have been enjoying this show on TikTok, please, uh, please add me, please friend me, please let me know what you enjoyed about the show and please share it with other people. Also, wherever you are on the replay, yeah, please add me, please subscribe, please share and let me know what is like, what's your incarnation cross? Like, let's start a conversation. Let's start a dialogue. And how can I best help you uh, have more of what it is that you would like to have? The four pillars of what I do is health, wealth, happiness, and love. And I would say a success sorceress uh, who is a specialist in creating all of those four areas of your life. So most of the time people don't say, oh, Jennifer, my life is just so freaking amazing. Can I have my life be more amazinger? <laughs> but what would it take? Uh, you know, sometimes people are like, okay, I'm not making enough money. I don't have love in my life. I am not healthy. I'm not happy. Most of the time they wait until all four legs on the chair are broken or crooked before they reach out to me. And, you know, it starts with just a conversation. It starts with reaching out. It starts with a curiosity, like how could my life be better? And, you know, what is it that's in my human design chart? What is it that's in my astrology? Like, what is my actual life's purpose? And, you know, I can show you that information quite quickly, what your life's purpose is. And, you know, I have programs, I have trainings, I have all sorts of things that are available uh, that I would love to share with you. But the first thing that you have to do is ask for help, reach out to me. Yeah. So what did I promise? We were going to talk about my personal tips for looking good on camera. And so sometimes people 
are like, oh, well, you know, I don't like what my face looks like. I don't like what my body looks like. I don't like what my hair looks like. I don't like what my smile looks like. I don't like it. Okay. So the first thing that you have to do is really honestly get over yourself. <laughs> like just get over it. There are people, all shapes and sizes, people of all races, creeds, like you will have your individual soul fractal, you know, like 1% of the population of the planet you hear me talking about. So your 8,000 people who are meant to know you at a soul level, who are meant to be your soulmate clients, who are meant to be your lovers, who are meant to be the people who are your super fans. So you not showing up, you having some strange point of view about what it is that you look like, you got to get over it. You got to get over it. And then once you just kind of get over it, then I would say take a break and ask yourself, like, what's fun for me? What's fun for me? You know, I have always loved glamour, always, always. I remember being a little tiny person and like looking at my mom's makeup and my mom is not really all that glamorous. Like I think she had a, two lip glosses and, you know, maybe a little bit of mascara. And I remember thinking, oh, I can't wait until I can wear that. And so, you know, me showing up on camera in what I call full drag, like I've got all the makeup on. I'm also actually wearing a, a hair piece because my own hair is very curly. Uh, it's very fine. And so curly hair and fine hair don't actually show up on camera very well. It kind of, it just looks messy. And so like having a hair piece might be something that might be fun for you. Putting on false eyelashes might be something that might be fun for you. Wearing full Makeup might be something that's fun for you, but if it doesn't feel fun for you, if you feel like, oh, you know, I'm really having to paint this makeup on in order to be able to show up on camera, I would challenge that point of view as well, because stage makeup is always you know, sort of a, um, an exaggerated version. Like I wouldn't, like I take this makeup off, like I'm going out tonight dancing. This makeup is coming off. This hair piece is coming off. And, you know, I will be, you know, the Friday night Jennifer. Uh, but who shows up on camera needs to be just sort of a more exaggerated version of what it is. Because on camera, it looks like you're wearing almost no makeup. And so when you are like looking your, at yourself in the mirror uh, at home, it kind of looks like you're like, yeah, full drag. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe get over that too. And, uh, and then notice like, is this fun for me? Does this feel authentic for me? Does this feel like I'm having a, an experience and if it doesn't, then really, who cares? Because the best lighting, the best lighting is usually looking out an open window on sort of a dull day. You know, put something firm behind you, put a screen behind you, and then make sure that your lighting looks good and you don't have to wear false eyelashes. I just like them. You don't have to wear a different hairpiece. I just find that's fun. You know, you don't have to like have full drag makeup, as I call it. I just find it fun. And so being your authentic self is probably the best self for you. And so a good question to ask yourself is, you know, is how I'm presenting myself on camera effective? And, you know, that sort of helps you get out of the way, right? If you look at yourself and you're like, wow, I look tired. Well, then you need to have somebody show you how to put on stage makeup. That's all. And it's just another skill set, you know, and if you're looking kind of like dull, then you need to have somebody show you, you know, how to frame your lighting correctly. And, you know, again, it's just another skill set. And so the hours that you put in today or this week or this month will start to accumulate to build that skill set. Does that make sense, you guys? Because you don't have to be perfect immediately. I'm telling you, you do not 
have to be perfect immediately. I'm giving you permission to be a real hot mess. <laughs> and I want to say thank you so much for showing up today. I go live every Friday. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies.